These are the kind of results that beginners are getting with eBay dropshipping. And in this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step exactly how they're doing it and how you can get results faster using AI. All right, so first things first, you gotta sign up for an account on ebay.com. This is pretty straightforward to do. All you have to do is come over to ebay.com and click on the top left here where it says register. And then it's going to walk you through step-by-step -step the exact sign up process, everything that they need from you in order to set up an account. But one place where you may get tripped up here is when it asks you to create a name for your eBay store. Your eBay store name is important, but unfortunately, a lot of the good names are already taken, so you're not going to be able to use those with your own eBay account. So what I suggest you do is you use ChatGPT to help you come up with some good store names and then see if those ones are available. So I plugged in here, help me come up with a name for my eBay store, I'm mostly selling home goods. If you're going to be specifically selling one type of item, you can tell it that that's the type of item that you're going to be selling. And already it's given me some great suggestions here. It says things like House Haven Hub, Adobe Accents Field, Casa Craftery, Domestic Chic Finds. So some great names here. These may not be available, but they might be. So you plug them into eBay and see if they are. The rest of the setup process though for eBay is pretty straightforward, but do make sure you stick around for this entire video anyway, because I'll be showing you several important steps that you need to get right if you wanna be successful with this. Also, I'm gonna show you some common mistakes that people make when they start eBay dropshipping and how you can easily avoid them. For instance, you need to make sure you buy your items from the right place. You see, when most people think about selling on eBay, they typically envision themselves hitting up garage sales and thrift stores, searching around for those deals. Then they take photos at home for their listings and even handle the shipping once the item on eBay actually sells. Now that method certainly gets results, but I wanna show you today a different way to sell on eBay. And all you need to do it is your laptop and an internet connection Nothing more than that. There's no need to go to local stores to find these items because you can do this from anywhere in the world. And that's because we're going to look at something called drop shipping. Drop shipping is a low risk way to sell products on eBay without the hassle of having to buy inventory upfront or store it yourself. How it works is pretty simple. You're going to list an item up for sale on eBay just like this seller did right here. The catch though, is that these are items you don't actually own or keep in your own house. When the item sells on eBay, you simply buy it from your supplier's website and instruct them to ship it directly to your customer on eBay. This means you won't ever have to deal with the packaging or shipping yourself and you don't need to spend all that money on inventory upfront, making it a business that you can run from anywhere in the world and that's much lower risk and a lot more beginner friendly. You can see in this example right here, we have this solid wood round dining table. Look at the pictures, get an idea of what this item is. You can see that this is the exact same item here on Walmart. The only difference is that it's cheaper here on Walmart and they've marked it up on eBay so that they'll sell it at a profit. And it's that simple. That's all it takes. That's all that really goes into this entire business model called drop shipping. If you've come across the term dropshipping before, then you've probably seen it in the context of Shopify dropshipping. Now, don't get me wrong, dropshipping on Shopify has its merits, but it can be quite tough for beginners who are looking to jump into the world of dropshipping. Now, one of the reasons for that is because building your own website, which you have to do with Shopify, is quite difficult. It's not easy. This is an example of one right here. This requires you to design and set up your own online store, choose themes, configure settings, and deal with technical aspects, which can be quite overwhelming if you're new to e-commerce. The other problem with Shopify dropshipping is that no one knows this website exists unless you pay for ads to get people to actually find this website. And that usually costs money, which can add up very quickly, especially if you're still learning the ropes about online marketing. It can really strain your budget if you're a beginner. Now, an alternative to running ads for your Shopify store is where you do search engine optimization, which can be immensely difficult if you're a beginner. But finally, the big problem with Shopify dropshipping is that it usually relies on suppliers that are very difficult to work with 
and can lead to a lot of headaches. In contrast, eBay dropshipping offers a much more straightforward way for beginners to get started. You don't need to worry about building a website because you're gonna be selling on one that already exists. You don't need to attract traffic through costly ads because there's already customers on eBay and you don't have to deal with unreliable suppliers. So by leveraging eBay's existing platform and their customer base, you can focus on learning the ropes of dropshipping without the added complexities that often come with owning and running your own website. And while that does make things much easier, I will admit that you are never going to be successful with this unless you find the right products to sell, which is exactly what I'm going to show you how to do right now. And to help us out with that, I'm going to be using a product research tool called Zeek Analytics. This is it right here. And this is designed by dropshippers for dropshippers to help us find the best products to dropship onto eBay. Now, by the way, I put together for you a free ebook that has links to all of the software I recommend for eBay dropshipping. And all of the links inside that PDF will get you the best discounts or deals available on the software. So make sure you click the first link in the description down below, enter in your email here, and you'll be able to get this free guide. And with that guide, you can get a free trial of Zeek Analytics that we're, I'm going to be showing you how to use right now. Now, what I like about Zeek is that they have a lot of different product research tools available for us to use. So there's not just one way to do product research, to be honest, but I'll show you one of the easiest ways to use it that I like quite a bit, which is their AI function. If I come into Zeek Pro right here and click on autopilot, this allows me to scan through eBay with my set criteria. And it's going to use AI to filter out things that I don't want and bring in things that I do want. So I'll click on the top where it says new scan to create a new one. And I'll call this one Amazon scan and I'll choose which supplier I'm looking to drop ship from. In this case, it's Amazon, but I could also choose in here Walmart or AliExpress for instance. Category, if you want to only sell in a specific category, you could do that. But with this type of drop shipping, I would not niche down. If you're selling on Shopify, one of the disadvantages of that is that you kind of pigeonhole yourself where if the name of your website is like bestkitchenislands.com, you can only sell kitchen islands in that store. On eBay though, it doesn't matter. You don't want to niche down. We're looking for basically any items that are selling well, and then we're going to sell those same items or very similar items ourselves. So I'll click on save. So I'll be in every category there. If you want to filter by review count or bestseller rank, you can do that, but I leave those blank. I want to have more options to choose from that I filter through myself. I also check off here where it says include similar items. This is really important because this is also going to find for us the item on Amazon. And if it can't find an exact match, it's going to find similar items. Sometimes that's actually better. A lot of times that's actually better because if it's a similar item, we know that item is going to do well, but there's gonna be less competition for it. And I also choose only prime. You can also sort through here. Like I'm looking for items that are at least $50. And I think that's good. So I'll click now on start your scan. That will then take just a couple of minutes. So what I'll do is I'll show you a previous scan that I did with similar settings. This one I did just a couple of days ago. And this page will show us all the results right here. So if you look at some of these products, like let's look at this one right here. This column right here shows you the product image on eBay. This shows you the product image on Amazon and then the, the titles so you can compare them yourself. But what I like is over here, this tells you how many times the item sold in the past, in the past, so this sold over 70 times, and how much the profit is. So this is about a $17 profit. So that's not bad, you know, you sell that a few times a month, you have some other items that have $17 profit, sell a few times a month, and you really start to uh, kind of snowball and it adds up very, very quickly. And you just see there's like so many items that it's able to find for you in here. Let's return back to the dashboard though, so I can show you some of the other product research tools that are available. One of them, the other one I really like is right here on the dashboard. So this is it right here, the trending eBay products. So if we click on the gear icon here, we can change this. You know, I'm selling on eBay, I'm drop shipping. I wanna source from Walmart in this new example. 
And this finds me a bunch of items right here. So like this item right here, this item has sold five times in the past month and has about a $28 profit. This one sold twice in the past month, has a $15 profit. And by clicking on this, this will bring me right over to Walmart to the item so I could sell it myself. So lots of items here that have 10, $15 profit, which really, really adds up quite, quite quickly. And I'll show you one final product research tool in here. Again, you don't need to use all of these. You can kind of like try one of these at first, but these are all available to you. I like this one too, which is the trending drop shippers. So this finds other drop shippers on eBay and analyzes them for us. And then we can look at their products. So this seller, for instance, has done $63,000 in sales in the past month. This one has done $15,000 in sales. This one has done $50,000 in sales. So if I click on this icon, it will actually scan that seller store and it'll look at all the items that they're selling. So this person's selling a lot of t-shirts right here. Uh, personally, I don't really sell clothes, so I'm gonna skip this one. But let's scan this first seller that's doing over about $60,000 a month in sales. And we can see like all the types of items this person is selling. So they're selling whatever this activity tracker is that has sold 10, uh, sorry, 20 times in the past month. This thing has sold 11 times for $130. So you can kind of go through all of these, find these items on a supplier's website or something very similar, and then sell the items yourself. Now that we've got an item to put up for sale, let's dive right into actually listing the item into the eBay store. Now in the past, this process of copying everything over was very tedious because you had to manually copy and paste everything from Amazon here and paste it into a blank listing on eBay, which let's be honest, eats up a lot of time when done over and over again. Now, thankfully, there's a much simpler way, all thanks to some pretty cool software that I found. So this is a software right here. I've gone ahead and set the whole thing up already, but again, if you wanna sign up for this, you can download my free dropshipping tools guide at the first link down below. And inside of that is a link to this where you can sign up and get a trial for free. Now, what I like about this is that this will actually list the products for you and automate a lot that comes after that. So let me show you an example. I've set this up, but I'll click on add product now on the top left and I'll click on single product. And now all I have to do is come to the product. In this case, it's on Amazon, but this also works with several other suppliers. There's a whole list of them right here. And I'm going to grab the URL for this product, just copy that and paste it in here. Now, if I were to click publish this store, that would actually list it into my eBay store and I would have to do no extra work. But I do like to spend just a couple of minutes optimizing. Because this software is, so I'll click on edit now, because this software is doing the heavy lifting for me, copying and pasting for me, I can, I can uh, spend a couple of minutes now optimizing it and making it better. And when I say optimize, I mean, hey, this listing right here on Amazon, it's optimized for Amazon. It is not optimized for eBay. So we need to change it up a little bit so it actually sells well on eBay. So you can see the software brought in the title. It made some tags for this. It applied a, a shipping policy automatically, pulled in the description. There's several variations of this. So you see on here, there's different sizes of this. It pulled in those different sizes, pulled in the images, pulled in the item specific. So I didn't have to do any of that. All that was done automatically. Now, what I would change here is the title to make it full of keywords that people would actually be searching for on eBay. And if I have time, I would change up the description as well. Now, luckily, this is where AI comes in because all I have to do is click here where it says optimize description with AI and it will do that for me so I don't even need to change it up. Same thing with the title. I can click on here, optimize title with AI, and this is programmed to optimize it for eBay by just clicking one button with the AI optimization tool. So let's actually try that. I'll click now where it says optimize title with AI, and you could choose the tone that you want. I like to keep it on professional, and I like to keep it balanced as well, so the default settings, and I'll click on AI right. And here, it gives me a full title right here. You can now, click on save and that will then bring it in right there for you. 
So you can do that and it'd be the same exact thing for the description as well. Click on optimize for that and it'll make a beautiful description for you with AI. Now, the other cool thing about this software is that once you list an item with this software, so again, go through all this and then click on the top right where it says save and import, and that will then be live in your eBay store. Once you do that, this item is now linked up, meaning that if the item goes out of stock on Amazon, then AutoDS will automatically mark it as out of stock in your eBay store. And if the item goes up in price or down in price on Amazon, that will automatically be updated by AutoDS for you with no extra work on your part. This whole process is honestly deceptively simple, but in fact, it was the first online business I tried that actually worked. And the reason for that is because it's refreshingly straightforward. I grasped the concept quickly, and the best part is I didn't need to invest a fortune to get started with this. What's deceptive about it though, is that there are some key things you need to get right if you truly want to be successful with this. They're not hard, but without them, this will not work for you. Luckily, I have some free resources to help you actually do this the right way. So as I mentioned before, I have that free ebook that reveals all the software and tools I recommend for dropshipping. And again, if you wanna get that, all you have to do is click the first link in the description down below and it's completely free. So please make sure to download it and enjoy.